Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Tech It. Now, at the end of the most previous or recent episode, I did say that I would finally get round to having a look at this matter Canon Jobby. Um, so, our first sort of port of call is going to be to work out how we build the ammunition that it takes. Now, this, from what I have researched, requires, um, I thought it was the ME condenser, but I just typed condenser and didn't come up. What's it called? Um, let me find it. Yeah, the ME condenser. Or did I just miss it? Or spell it wrong? It's a very simple, very easy um, thing to produce, the ME condenser. I don't know why I'm short on fluix dust. That seems a bit of a unlikely scenario. So the ME condenser, if we take it downstairs, because I don't really want it to be upstairs, and we will just connect it. Where should we connect it? Should we just connect it up here? Well, that's literally below my drop down point. That's not very well done by me. Let's put it here. So the ME condenser, basically, you need to give it a storage cell, and then you just chuck stuff into it and it deletes it and it converts it into what we want now singularity is something we're going to come to a little bit later on they're very cool um but basically this just takes an item and turns it into like pure energy so if we take a storage cell we're gonna have one in here storage block storage segment i can't remember which one of these it needs is it this one yes it is and then we take just absolute ton of junk and we put it into here it doesn't require connecting to, actually i've just noticed it doesn't, doesn't seem to require connecting to anything but it just eats all of this junk and as you can see it started to produce matter balls which are the ammo for the matter cannon so that's quite cool we can also, I want to double check this before I mess it up. Um, we have this, I have this, which is for junk. Let's just see what, what actually is in here. So it's got stone, sandy stone. Again, it's not, I've not quite done this as well as I possibly could have done. Because you can just chuck a disc straight in there and it will just delete the contents of a disc. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to lose The contents of that disk as such so I might have to reevaluate how I have my I don't know why I can't shift click this up there have my setup because I want to be able to quite happily almost automate the process of chucking junk in here now I can I can use import and export buses to obviously export cobble out of Miami network into here to produce whatever we need so we've got nine matter balls that I'll do for now. I'll come back and we'll sort out some more later on. So we also need the matter cannon. So the matter ca a strange matter, antimatter. So we need an energy cell, which requires these crystals. I'm pretty sure I can be able to produce those because I made far too many crystals last time I needed them. Conversion matrix. Now, have we got all of this? Now, I know that the conversion matrix you spell it rightly conversion matrix is something that I can craft with my system another storage segment I believe is something that I can craft with my system um, so that's cool Sort by number, stored and craftable, stored items, craftable, stored and craftable. Why is there... What's happened? Oh, there we go. I must have just done something weird. So we should be able to do this now. Produce the matter cannon. Dun, dun, dun. The matter cannon reply requires charging. So it will just happily absorb that 200k. I 
I know I'm available. Okay. Do we charge it by putting it in here? So we know we don't need this, we can put this here, put this in here, we also want one of these bad boys, so that we can make it into a precision export bus. Then we can take a cobblestone, put that in here. Just double clicking things starting to piss me off. Now I'll start throwing lots and lots and lots and lots of cobble into there. Just for a second. So no ammo available. There's ammo there. So how do I put ammo into a matter cannon? Is it something as weird as doing this? Yes, it is. That was easy enough. So I thought that out for myself. So we need a chest. Put the matter cannon in the chest, put the ammo in the chest. So that means we can probably hold quite a lot of ammo in the old uh, in the old matter cannon. So if we built a if I type in the wrong one, if we build one of these ME chests again requires a conversion matrix which again build two so we've got them sorted so we can build the ME chest hopefully now what's taking so long so where how do we go um, nom, 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 nom. Uh, we've got that there that there, and then we were to grab and import bus and put the import bus here. It will suck the balls out and put them in there. Result so much cobble we've now got left within our system. Is it? Has it gone? It has eaten all 20,000 cobblestone, is it? Which is fine. Because we have this chap up here, which has also 20,000 in. Which is fine. I'll set that up with an export bus later on. I just want to get one more matter ball. Okay, so the matter cannon is now loaded. And we will tell this to be active with signal. And we'll grab a lever, which I have 100 million of. And I'll throw the lever down here. I'll switch it off. Okay. Although I have no idea whether it's off or not. <laughs> the idea is it to be off, but I don't know if it is. Um, yes. Okay. 
active with signal and that's off. Fine. So we have the matter cannon. It's night time, which means that's good. So this is going to be something for us to shoot. Let's go over here into the killing fields. Make sure I haven't done something stupid, like put it into peaceful mode. Nope, it's definitely on. Baddies on. There we go. There's a baddies. Creeper. Wow, this is terribly weak. That was like a million shots to kill that guy. It's a skeleton. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten shots to kill a skeleton. One, two. It does take out trees though, does it? No. Yeah, it blows up. Wow, that's so weak. Is it better to use to shoot? Is it better used as a mining? Oh, is it supposed to be a mining tool? Ammo depleted. So it's not. Ah! <laughs> I got creepered. It's not a very good weapon against enemies as such, but it is quite a useful, fast mining tool. When I say useful. What I mean is almost every other mining tool that exists within the context of the game is better than it. So we could, we could put jungle wood in there. Yeah, that would work. Basically, we can just throw anything in here, I guess. It just converts anything into... Um... Energy. Not bones. Bones are useful. Arrows are useful. Well, the matter cannon was unfortunately heavily disappointing. I'm a little bit disappointed by the matter cannon, I have to be honest. Um... Yeah. That's a bit rubbish, but we can Why are so many of these pre-configured? We can have a look at just something else while I'm here I Always need these, make loads of them Come on, make one. Okay. So. We now have the need to extract cobble into our network again. Because we are without any cobble. So that's... Which way is that? That is west. So within the interface for this, we have each of these. So west, we can have an out. Uh, where's my nearest network link? It's over there. So it's not going to be very pretty. But we could go up and across to over here. Or not, because the game doesn't like being so far away. So that brings us to there. Well, we'll put another precision export bus in here at some point. Now within this, we can now tell it to move stacks of items. But I don't just want to move it like continuously. Is that doing it now? No, good. I want it to move when it has a signal telling it to extract 64 items. And to help it do that, I'm going to use one of these, a level emitter. Level emitter. Now the level emitter can be used to basically tell adjacent blocks when we have certain amounts of items in our system to do something with them. So if we put the level emitter here, it will link into our ME network and basically, if I get it right, we can tell this that when we have, let's say, 11,000, 1,000 cobble, so emit when the levels are above or equal to limit, 
emit when they are equal or below that. So when we have a thousand cobble or less than a thousand cobble, this will emit the requirement to extract cobble. Okay. This is then being told to move cobble a stack at a time when active signal. So this should now be pulling cobble out. Except it's not. So we need to spin this like that and then just for now connect it like this. So now this should be sucking out cobble. What have I done wrong here then? Active with signal, move stacks of items, cobblestone. West is an output. Oh, that seems to have gone down. One thousand cobblestone emit when signals are below or equal to the limit. Right. Are you just sucking them up continuously? No, you're not. You're not active, which is good. Right. What have I done wrong here then? It's always good. I'm trying to show off something cool, and it doesn't work. Is that because I've picked the wrong bus like a pleb? Um, <laughs> surely I want to import into my network, not export from it like a Muppet. If you're probably sitting there all shouting at me going, you Muppet, why have you done that? It's because I am a Muppet. Active with signal, cobblestone, move stacks of items. Right, this should be going down now. There you go, it's pulling out stacks of items at a time and putting them into the Emmy network so that we now have access to cobblestone. Now cobblestone is obviously used for creating things like stone, so we never want to have a problem like this. Now this is not working, if I turn it on, it will start to produce matter balls, which are then getting loaded into the matter cannon, which is of no use to anybody. But turn it off, this will then extract back up and it'll always be at 1040. Okay. So we can still use the deep storage to store massive amounts of cobblestone from the quarries that we're running, but it's now going to be automatically transmitted into the Emmy network as we need it. Because some of the, I think it might be this one, are used to create stone if we need it. So we always need to have cobble in the network. Um, I don't think you've seen my crafting monitors before, have you? So the crafting monitor is a very simple tool to allow you to visually represent how much you have of any particular item. So I've put each of the ores, and you can see straight away that cob uh, cobble, copper is my weak ingot. But it's a cool little feature to visualize how much of a certain item you have. And I'm monitoring cactus green because I'm trying to get biofuel controlled by my ME network rather than just default. But I'll leave that for a future episode because I don't particularly want to deal with that now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this small, simple episode about the matter cannon, where we unfortunately proved that it's totally useless um, and not worth the time and effort to create it because any of the other weapons that exist in the game are more efficient and effective than it. But there we are. It's done. I said I would do it. I have done it. Everyone should be happy that they've seen it and they'll all know now not to waste the resources of building it. In the future, I'm guessing we're going to have a look, to have a look at what these singularities are, but they require quite a lot of, I guess, energy or items. But I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now, guys.